Hi, I'm Dee. Welcome to number three of five of our How to Open School series of short films. In this one, I'm going to talk for a couple of minutes about designing your programme, taking you from the big ideas and principles that we saw in the last film toward a more detailed lesson plan. So, our very first film, we saw that open schooling shares distinct qualities like being place-based, purposeful, passion-led, pervasive. And at that point, we also introduced these building blocks, which form any open schooling program. So how do you work with these building blocks? Well, each works as a prompt. Location, for example. Will your program happen in school or out of school or both? Being open doesn't have to mean leaving the classroom. You can bring experts and mentors into the classroom in real life or virtually. This means you can open up in all kinds of ways, locally or internationally. There's huge variety and flexibility in how open schooling can be delivered. And by using the building blocks to set your goals or to think about your opportunities, you're better equipped to design your program. That might mean inviting in guest speakers, identifying industry collaborations. Maybe there's a competition brief that fits or there might be a particular local opportunity you want to address. If this now sounds too flexible and potentially like hard work, don't worry. In our research, we looked at almost 100 successful open learning programs. We saw repeat use of really simple structures. They draw on inquiry or project-based or practical learning approaches. You can take these simple steps and substitute almost any real world challenge. We worked with teachers in four countries to take all this research and to shape a simple framework, making open schooling more accessible and more repeatable. It looks like this. As you'll see, like any scheme of work, it's got distinct stages from briefing through to reflection. We refer to this complete scheme of work as a learning scenario, and it's made up of learning units which equate to classes, modules or lessons. We've been working with this framework for over a year and we're really confident it's a useful template, no matter the scale or the scope of your programme. So what's next? Well, we've built a tool called the Open Schooling Navigator. It houses a number of tried and tested learning scenarios and they're co-designed with teachers across Europe. In the next film, we'll take you through the Navigator in more detail. That will help you to adapt or to create your own open schooling programme. Hope to see you there.